A survivor of sexual abuse tells the Como investigators that she's being victimized again by a gap in federal law. We discovered retired military members getting special treatment despite committing terrible crimes. Como investigator John Humbert joins us with the woman's fight to change that rule. John? Well, guys, our discovery stunned the federal agency that pays out armed forces retirement benefits. No matter how heinous this crime, that money cannot be garnished. In cases of abuse, Como News normally does not share the names or faces of some of the victims. We're going to do so tonight at the request of the survivor determined to change the system. Girl Scouts and, you know, dresses and holidays. You're going to look at these pictures and those are happy kids, right? Because that's who we had to be. The faces of Penny Som and Corey Deloche hide a past that's still so very much present. It was a day to day fight to get to the next day and feel like you've made a success. The pain, the agony. To get their story into the light, Penny blogs about the years of abuse she and Corey suffered at the hands of their father, Donald Deloche. His mugshots. Court documents show that Deloche emotionally and sexually abused his own children. Penny's memories start at age that, four. That was me Those records mom. reveal it actually began when she was an infant. He was very calculated, very manipulative, very violent. She remembers many late night violations in her bed, holes drilled through the bathroom door so he could watch the kids bathe. Literally fondling me under this blanket while the Brady Bunch is on. And a van. This is the inside of that van. With a table that folded down into a bed. Any time he could, he could take advantage of any of those moments, he did. Penny said excuses and lies were told to explain it away. This is the way it is. This is how families are together. Most families are like this. We just don't talk about it. This is vile. This is horrific. Tacoma attorney Scott Candu represented Penny and Corey in a civil suit against Deloche. All kinds of abuse and molestation. 20 years later, the case still haunts him. Yes, there was criminal justice, a 17-year prison sentence for child rape. Candu says both children needed extensive therapy and emotional repair. Corey's been in trouble with the law ever since and is currently in jail for car theft. We have his permission to talk about the abuse. Penny is still rebuilding. It changes who you are. It changes what you consider to be normal. Deloche lost the civil suit and was ordered to start paying a $5 million judgment even while behind bars. This was about correcting and making a moral the right answer. That never happened. And after being released six years early, Candu and Penny say Deloche has been bulletproof. How much money has the family gotten from that $5 million? Zero. In 20 years? In 20 years. Bulletproof because federal law says he doesn't have to pay a dime if his only source of income is his military retirement pay. It's untouchable. He serves his time. He's no longer even registered. And now let's go ahead and protect him from, you know, not having to pay anything for it in the end either. I mean, come on. The Coma investigators researched federal law, and the Defense Finance and Accounting Services in D.C. did its own digging and agreed. In civil cases of child abuse and rape, survivors cannot garnish the retirement pay of an armed services veteran. How is that okay? How is that okay? Now that really doesn't make a lot of sense. We scoured the congressional archives and found that until the early 1990s, the untouchable retirement exemption covered all federal employees. This is fair legislation. After public outcry, Congress overwhelmingly passed the Child Abuse Accountability Act. It allows survivors to receive those garnishments from federal employee retirement. It covers civil service and federal workers, though, not the military. It's ridiculous that our government protects these people just because they served in the country. Baloney, it's ridiculous. Penny never expected Deloche to pay the full $5 million, but doesn't think he should get a free pass. Hold him accountable for what he's done. We tried to speak with Deloche. She didn't respond to our visit or a letter we left with questions. First, thank you for bringing it to our attention. But then I'll Congresswoman you. Susan Del Bene has made veterans' issues a priority. You know, the calls we get this time, when she goes back to D.C., she vows to put survivors over service. We need to look at um, federal law and make sure federal law supports that. And that breaks my heart. For Penny, she knows these faces no longer have to hide the pain. This picture of my brother here just shows me sadness. She hopes by coming forward, she can help others trapped in the same darkness. This country has a horrific problem with child abuse. It's not just by military, it's every single day. Kids are dying every day at the hands of people that are supposed to care for them. And that's devastating. 
It's absolutely devastating. Now, even if Penny succeeds in Congress does change the law, she can't benefit. The local statute of limitations for garnishments like this expired last week. Penny says this is about morality and not money. John Humbert, Como Investigators. Quite the fight she's